Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be using the Milwaukee Brushless Fuel M18 cordless line trimmer with the quick lock system. I also have the uh, hedge trimmer that we'll be using in another video to do all of our hedges but for right now we're just going to hook this up and we're going to tour around the property and uh, trim some of the weeds. Tall grass beside fences and trees and rocks. All right, stick with me. Let's get some action. The nice thing about this is how easy it goes together. Slide it in until the lines line up. And then it's just got an extra latch to tighten it up. Nice, comfortable shoulder strap. Comfortable height. has the safety lock and the trigger and it also has the different speeds but I always keep it on the fast one let's get going So as you see, make short as you can see it makes short work. The battery lasts a long time. This is the uh, 12 milliamp battery. It's the one from the chainsaw, but there's no reason why you can't use it for this. <laughs> So I've done uh, half the property and you can see I have three of the four bars left so doing fine. All right, so a couple of things that I like about the cordless trimmer by Milwaukee is it does a fantastic job and this 12 milliamp battery lasts forever. A couple of things I don't like, it's heavy. It's built well, but it's heavy. Um, that's about it. 
these little gnat bugs are annoying. It looks like we're looks like we've uh, ended our line, so let's go switch the line out. We're gonna do it in the shop where there's no bugs, though. So the first thing you do is you take off the spool. Make sure that the battery is unplugged, of course. And you have the spool, and it's broken up into two separate sections. You can see that. So what's really nice about this is you take your string and you close this up. And then what you'll notice is that on the bottom, it's listed as a line, and they, it's a red mark, and they want you to line it up with the red mark where the holes are. Because there's a pass-through right here that goes all the way through. So then all you have to do is take your length of string, a couple of arm lengths full, and you feed it directly through the spool. Just like that. Then you even it out. Unless you keep dropping it like I do. So they're the same length. And then there's arrows and it tells you which way to wind. So as long as you start winding, and there you go. Perfectly wound, ready to go. Let's get back out and trim. I guess the other thing I should mention is that this line cutter that's on the inside can be set to two different lengths. So if you want really long, you can unscrew this, rotate it so that this cutting edge for when the string hits it, is either here or further out, giving you about an inch longer cut. We all know how important length is. And then what happens is I go around, I'll use the zero turn, and that'll chop all that up, get rid of it. Let's do this last garden and then we'll call it a day. This one has some neglect.
trip of the of the car. So my neighbor's been mowing his lawn and he mowed all the tops off of his white dandelions. And for the last three days, it's been snowing, literally snowing with the amount of white dandelions in the air. And just to show you, look at this. I came out the other day and my entire lawn was covered in this. I thought it had snowed. Literally thought it had snowed. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. What'd you do on your land today? If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I post another video. They're usually on Wednesdays and Sundays. Have a great day. done my entire property around the living areas of course and I still have two bars left on the 12 milliamp battery so I'm really happy with that have a good day everybody